Hello and welcome to another C Trader tutorial. Uh, today we're going to discuss the uh, depth of market feature on C Trader. Um, as you're seeing on the chart now, you cannot actually see the depth of market. It's actually on the active symbol panel on the right hand side. If I just highlight the my the mouse, uh, it's here. But I'm just going to close the calendar and I'm going to move the depth of market higher up. You can drag it up and down. Apart from the top panel, you can't do that. Okay, I can bring it up there and then I can actually drag it down to show the complete depth of market. Now this is showing you a standard depth of market or the order book. So it's showing you all the traded volume at that price for this broker, which is FX Pro. So this is showing that um, there's a higher volume, say around here, 24 for that price um, of traders that have actually put orders in for sell orders and also buy. Now looking at it like this, it just almost looks the same. You can't really tell what's going on. There's no kind of definitive, I'm gonna, you know, there's more traders in this area or that area. Um, so there's an equal amount of probably buyers and sellers at the moment, but I'll show you um, a good way of seeing who has control of the market. Okay, so that view on its own is, is useful, but the markets are moving very fast at the moment because the coronavirus has been going on. So um, there's a lot of liquidity or low. Um, so I'm going to go to the link at the top here. Um, we've got order, DOM and calendar. I just highlight the mouse there at the top. If I click on this, um, it shows the standard depth of market. And it's being showed there. Okay, that just shows you the standard for this symbol, which is USDCHF. If uh, for any reason you click on another symbol and you're wondering and you're looking to the right at this depth of market, it doesn't relate to this symbol. That's the only thing that might confuse you. I'm just going to close down some of these charts. Um, it's because, and I'm going to change that symbol to um, something else like CHFJPY. If you were looking at this um, symbol here, okay, USD um, Swiss franc, CHF, and you're looking to the right there, Oops, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. I even, even I got confused then, so there you go. That's the only thing you might get confused about because I'm actually looking at now CHFJPY. I'm not looking at USDCHF, but the DOM to the right relates to USDCHF because it's up here in this little window that I can open up here. So what? make sure, so if I go back across to this, make sure you are looking at the correct um, symbol. So make sure from the drop down that you do choose the correct symbol. And then you can match up the depth of market um, to the actual symbol you're displaying in the chart there. So um, I'm just going to minimize this slightly here. Now I'm going to go to, there's three options you can choose from from here. Um, standard DOM, and you've got no trading options here. You cannot really do anything. Price DOM. Now this is the one that I find useful. I'll tell you why, because if I drag the chart across right now, there's a bit of a bullish trend you can go on. You can see now if you look at this window here on the right, the depth of market, it looks almost like there's an even amount right right now. So I'm talking about it looks like they're showing more bullish um, buyers in the market. So there's apparently more orders for buys than there is for sales at the moment. And the sales have come off the screen at the bottom. They're down there. So what I would say was if you're looking at this, you can scroll up and down. Um, if you are seeing more orders or more green uh, blocks that are higher level uh, volumes traded, then I would favor that direction. If you were to use it for trading, because the prices um, are not that vast, I'll show you in a minute. I'll make sure I'm on a one minute chart there. If when I mean, you can use this for trading right now, it's showing the current price, which is 367, which is here. OK, 367. Now up here, it only shows the last three decimal places. So if I was to play, place a sell limit, you'll see it doesn't place it very far away from the entry price. It's only a few pips. Uh, I'll just close that. Um, so while you're trading this and you're putting a trade in, you're going to try and identify where the most traded volume is. Um, because it's moving so fast, it's very difficult to see what's going on. I'm trying to now follow my mouse to find out where the highest volume traded is for there. Um, but it changes as you're going along. So personally, even though you can trade with this and put stop limits and, uh, you know, buy, buy and stop, sell stop limits, I would probably use it to see um, who is trading most at that time. Yeah, it's a very short time frame. So what you can do, as I just showed you, you can actually place orders. So you have limit order just been filled there. You can find out, you can scroll up and down these prices. And if you highlight, it comes up with the current price and it comes up with the traded um, position size. So up here, you can change the position size to anything you want. And if you hover, highlight your mouse, mouse, it gives you more information. So at the bottom here, it tells you your um, net unrealized net profit and loss. And from this bottom window, you can cancel your sell positions, sell orders, buy orders or buy positions. So if you were to place additional orders, say one there, um, this button here allow you to cancel it. 
you can also do another one and you can cancel it from here as well okay by clicking on the mouse there so um, again these are for placing limit and stop orders uh, for buy and sell and for trying to find out uh, that who's trading the volume the most if I'm not explaining it very well and you want to find out a bit more about depth of market um, C Trader do have a user guide which I'm going to show you now so you just go to ctrader.com actually it's called help.ctrader.com and if you go into C Trader des desktop depth of market here is a, a help page and this gives you all the information about the different types of depth of market um, as I've just been describing probably in a little bit more detail um, to help you understand. If there's nothing that's actually on here, just Google um, depth of market and you'll find on the internet a lot of information um, describing exactly more about depth of market. So that was that stop order I put in previously and you can see it's actually um, not gone the way it should have gone. So I would use this to see who's where the most buyers and sellers are. Now the other one you've got is VWAP DOM. Now VWAP DOM is a um, volume weighted average price. So this is more for trading large volumes because it shows the average price for the volume traded. So it allows you to enter a trade directly from, the, from this table. So on here, that's a very high position size. If I was to click on that price, it won't allow me because I've got a small um, account balance. So you can actually change the value just by, so you see the average for this price is 2.5. That's what people have been trading. So you can actually, oops, I thought I could, actually change this value okay so first of all if you do get irritated by these little pop-ups that do get in the way just click go to settings go to um, no notifications and you can turn them off um, because sometimes you might find that irritating if you're dealing with the top right of the screen you keep getting these pop-ups so from here i'm pretty sure i did this e previously where i actually changed the there you go don't know why it didn't do it then you can actually change the lot size so i can drop that down to point i think i have to do it right on the right hand side Oh, it's not allowing me to do it on the right, but on the left. So you can actually do that and then click on it and it will open up a position. OK, so those are the three different types of um, document, uh, sorry, depth of market. And again, I hope I've just explained it the best I can. Um, and you can change the actual symbol there. That's all I wanted to say. If you do need to find out more information, um, just Google it or go to um, C Traders user, user guide and that'll give you more information about it. Um, it's not something I personally use a lot, but you might find it useful if you're doing um, scalping or um, trying to find the perfect entry point for a trade. So um, the only other thing I wanted to show you was who we are. So if you don't know who we are, we are clickalgo.com. We're a company um, like a software house for C Trader. We provide software trading tools, education, and other bits and bobs. We also do custom development work. So you can find us at clickalgo.com. And if you're not looking at our complete YouTube channel, um, just come to our YouTube channel. If you look at the bottom of this video, there'd be a link to find us or just click on this little icon head and you'll get to us as well. And we've got various videos and we've got a whole selection of videos um, helping people learn how to use the C Trader platform. There you go. That's it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.